Hey, what's up guys? My name is Noe with Meleno Threads uh, here in Woodard, California. Yeah. If you guys need anything, please make sure to send us a message on our Instagram. And in today's video, we're gonna show you how we do our DTG shirts step by step. How long have you had this DTG printer? Oof. Uh, I've had this DTG printer for, I'm gonna say six months now, maybe six, seven months or now, uh, give or take, um, but yeah. And for the people that have never had a DTG printer, what was the hardest thing to learn about it? Uh, for someone who's just getting into DTG, or wants to get into DTG, uh, just know it's a learning curve, man. It's 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 not a plug and play thing. Um, you know, you gotta sometimes mess with color saturation. You know, a bunch of stuff just to get the right print. Um, you know, putting on the you know pre-treatment can be a pain if you have the gun like I do. Um, but it's a learning curve. You might mess up a few, but once you get it down, man, it's it, it's it prints immaculate. You know. So, what are you gonna be printing for us today? Uh, so today we're gonna be printing um, a full color shirt. Um, it's called "It's uh, The World Is Yours" tee. Um, it's a little like cartoon of uh, Scarface. Um, so we're gonna do it on a, on a black tee, on a black dark garment, um, and it's gonna be I think about uh, 17 inches big. Um, so we're gonna try to use the max uh, that we can. This one can print, uh, I believe it's 12 and a half by 18 inches long. Um, so we're gonna try to maximize the whole uh, area so you guys can see what a kind of like a full color print looks like, right? And using the full width. What's the first step over here? All right, guys, so first step, right? Uh, we have our gun, right? It's our spray gun with our pre treatment for dark uh, cotton. Um, and we're pretty much gonna pre treat our shirt. Uh, once we do that, right, we'll send it over to our press to heat it up and get ready for printing on the printer. All right guys, so pretty much uh, the way I go about uh, spraying it, right, I have the nozzle set too wide. So I'll just go uh, down twice and then across twice and I repeat that twi uh, two times. So I'll go one, one, and then one, one, and then one, one, and one, one. So something like this, just. Wait, how can you do it like that? Uh, I feel like it's, uh, you get more of, a, of an even uh, spread of the, of the pre-treatment, right, instead of, uh, I'm sure there's other ways, but this is kind of what works for me and I think is gonna work for a lot of other people, you know? Cool. You guys wanna have a dedicated work session, guys, because it can spray a lot. Um, the shirt looked like it's it's soaked, but that's kind of what you guys want, right? You guys don't want it to be too light because then your print won't get um, good quality. And if it's too like like wet, wet, and it'll also mess up your print quality. So this for me has been working, so this is just how I'm, I'm doing it from now, right? So once it's done from here, right, I'll grab the shirt and I'll just come over to my press. I have it heating up to 345 degrees Fahrenheit. So once it heats up to that temperature, right, we'll get one of these sheets, we'll put it on top, and we'll pre I press it three times for 25 seconds. And then that for me has been working as well. Um, it'll get the shirt nice and dry. Um, and then we can pop it over to our printer. So right now we're pressing the shirts for uh, 25 seconds, three times. Um, and the reason we do that right after each uh, press, we let kind of like the smoke air out. So um, it can kind of dry up a little bit. So right now when I put it up, you might see some smoke. Um, well, there it goes, All right? So we let that air out. We switch sides and then we press it again for 25 seconds. How can we do it three times? Uh, just so it can dry uh, the pre treatment, right? You don't want wet pre treatment to go onto your printer. Pretty much before you start printing, you guys, if your printer's been sitting maybe for like a day or two, you guys wanna make sure you guys uh, clean out your lines, right? Just to get all the ink flowing evenly. And then even if you add ink, you wanna make sure all your lines are, are properly adjusted, right? So uh, the way we do it, right, I unlocked all the white inks first, right? So you guys are see, so they're not locked. Um, and only the color ones are still locked, right? So I'll make sure to uh, get the ink flowing uh, for just the white inks. And then as soon as all the white inks are flowing, we'll unlock uh, the color prints or all the color uh, inks so they can also start flowing in. Once we do our lines, um, we're just gonna do a head cleaning just so that um, we can get an even flow through all the lines. Um, you guys wanna repeat this step twice and then last thing what we do is we'll do a, an actual uh, print on 
on the platen here itself, just so we can uh, pretty much get a nozzle check, make sure everything's printing out and all the inks are falling good. How often do you do these steps? Every day or just when you don't use it? I use it, I, oh, I do these steps every time I turn on the printer, right? So even if I print one shirt today and I turn it off tomorrow, I'll do these same steps over again, just so that I can guarantee that I'm gonna get a good print quality, you know? You can always skip a step, right? You might get lucky, you might get a good print, but just to be on the safe side, I'd recommend you guys do the step every time you guys turn on your printer. It takes about five minutes, so it doesn't take up too much of your time. And then here, you guys, you guys will see, um, automatically the, the camera can catch it, but... Yeah. Those numbers? Uh, there's like little lines, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I There's see, little yeah. lines, guys. If any one of these blocks is missing, right, or they're not put together, um, you just gotta check the ink line. Make sure you have sufficient ink in there, um, or just restart the process if they're very broken up. Uh, restart the process, right, do a head clean again, um, and then until you get like an even, you know, uh, print out with all of them, you should be good. And then once you're done, just get some, you know, get some alcohol, a microfiber cloth, and then just wipe it down. You should be ready to print right after this. Bam. All right, guys, so now we're able to print. Let's get our shirt. Nice and even. And then when you guys tuck in, I know it might not be a big thing, but you guys wanna make sure you guys tuck in the same opposite side, right? So if you're tucking in here, don't tuck in here because then it'll pull the shirt and it might make it uneven. So make sure you guys are tucking same side and then tuck in your, um, your leftover from your shirt. Put it back on the plate. Everything should be even. You want to bring it all the way up here. Should be set. And then again, you want to do the auto height adjustment um, with the shirt on, right? Uh, so it'll take the height of the shirt to the print head so it can get a nice clean uh, print head. So you see it has little lasers um, that detect right where it's at and it'll just adjust accordingly. Hey, what made you go with the Omniprint? Omniprint, I've seen them at, at the shows that I would go to, like all the expos and stuff. <clears throat> um, and I just think the print quality that it has, that it offers um, for its price is, is kind of what led me to them. They were doing this, these dope ass prints that I was like, you know, I kind of want prints like that. Um, the inks they also offer are a lot more, um, uh, how do I say, uh, vibrant, you know, you get vibrant prints out of this. Uh, and yeah, it's, it, I think it, it's it's dope. You guys will see right now. But if you guys do want more info or are interested in purchasing uh, one for yourself, make sure you guys uh, go check out Omniprint um, and let them know that Melano Thread sent you guys. All right, guys, and then right after that, we come into our software. Um, and then we pretty much set up our print. I have it set up for 11.7 inches wide by 17.8. That's to get the max uh, image size that we can get with the platen. Um, and then before printing, because we're gonna print on a black shirt, we're gonna add an underbase, white underbase choke. Um, these presets work fine, so just hit okay. And then on your channels over here, you will see the white underbase choke that's added, right? Damn. And then if you guys do want to see a preview, right, uh, if you have uh, the direct rip software, right, you should go to print preview and it'll show you how your print's supposed to look. As you can see, we're pretty much maximize, maximizing the whole print area, it's, you know? If you were printing on a white t-shirt or a different colored t-shirt, right, you just gonna change the color um, <clears throat> right here and it'll show you what it looked like, right? But because we're printing on black, we'll leave it at black. And then when we're ready to print, we'll hit print, make sure you guys are on the right port, and we'll hit OK. All right, guys, now that our print is done, right, you guys can see uh, the quality is there, right? So pretty much we're going to take this off the platen, and we're going to go back to our heat press to give it one, one final press just to uh, cure the ink, and then we'll see the final result. Now, let's say somebody ordered this shirt. How much would you charge for this, Snowy? All right, so... This shirt in particular, guys, it's it's kind of an expensive shirt, but you know, if we're using you know a regular, you know, just regular t-shirt, uh, something like this would be like 25 bucks, you know. 
um, which is fair cost. You know, like I said, the quality is there. The shirt, this in particular shirt, quality is there. You know, so 25 bucks, guys. Uh, all right, guys, what do you guys think? 25 bucks, too much, too little? Let me know your guys' opinion in the comments below. And then, so guys, this one, we don't apply a lot of pressure on it. We're pretty much just applying the heat over it, just kind of like in silk screen, right? Uh, where it goes over uh, the flash just to cure the ink. Same thing that we're doing here. So we're kind of making this thing float a little bit uh, just to cure the ink. And on this one, we do uh, two presses, right? 90 seconds each, just to get a really good, good um, even press. Uh, so we'll do it once, right? And it'll beep and then we'll do it one more time and then we should be done. All right guys, so that's our first press, right? You guys see all the smoke coming out. We're gonna get one more press for an additional 90 seconds and we should be done. All right, guys, our final press. And look at that, guys. Short like this, 25 bucks, guys. What do you guys think? Feels good, right? It's pretty much embedded into the shirt. Dope tea, guys. Mr. Tony Montana right here. The world is yours. Cool, guys. So that's it. That's how I get, you know, uh, from when we first started with the shirt all the way to our final press, that's pretty much my process for doing DTG, guys. If you guys have any questions um, or any comments, you know, put them down below or you guys can send me a message uh, or DM on my Instagram. And if you guys want a dope shirt like this, you know, whether it's this one here or for your brand, you know, hit me up on Instagram. I'll make sure I take care of you guys. And if you guys like this video, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one.